Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be doing my everyday makeup tutorial for school, for college that is, and I actually have a bag apart from my collection where I like to keep my everyday essentials. So this is what I've been wearing for the past week of class. I did start Monday and today's Thursday when I'm filming this. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Before I start my makeup, I wanna show you guys the moisturizer that I always wear. I already put it on this morning after I wash my face, but this is the Advanced Nail 92 All-in-One Cream from Cosrx. It's very nice, um, it's very sticky at first. I'll show you guys real quick how it looks in here. It literally just looks like a lot of goop. But when you take a little bit, and you put it on your skin, you can see how it bounces back. But it's really nice, it's very moisturizing. I feel like it's better for a morning moisturizer than a night one. I like something that's a bit heavier at nighttime, but that's a really good morning moisturizer. It helps naturally create the peeling glow of healthy skin and also works with preventing your wrinkles and all that good stuff. So now let's just get right into the makeup. The first thing that I like to put is primer. It has been really hot. Like when I say really hot, it's been like 92, 95, really hot up here. So I like to put a little bit of this primer. This is the Honest Beauty Everything Primer. I usually don't gravitate towards matte primers, but this one doesn't feel like it's sucking the oils out of me and it's just making me look very, very dry. I like to look glowy, so that's why I only put it right um, near my nose and on my nose and a little bit on my forehead because when I sweat, I get a little bit oily, not too much, but if I can control that, that's what I like to do. Next, I like to use concealer and I have two from Makeup Revolution. It is their Conceal and Define. This one is supposed to be the one that people always compare to the Tarte Shape Tape. I honestly don't agree. I think this Tarte Shape Tape is a little bit more um, opaque and has more coverage, but I still like this one. I have one in C8, which is the color that I wear on vacation, and now I wear C7. So what I like to do, because the C8 is a little bit more peachy on me, I like to apply this one first, and then once I blend that out with a blend beauty blender or a beauty sponge, I like to go ahead and put a second layer with the C7. So I'm gonna go and do that. Now I'm going to put a little bit of C7 right on top of that, but for this one, I like to let it sit a little bit, then I go ahead and do my brows. I'm just using this spoolie from this random um, eyebrow pencil that it's not my shade, this is a gray shade or something, but I've been really leaning towards powders again. This is my NYX. Powder, it comes with a little pomade right there. I used to use this when I first began my channel, um, but I like to just use it without the pomade. And I just do very natural brows. And then I like to take the shade right here, the lighter one, and I like to place that on the front of my brows okay so now i'm going to do powder but before i do that i need to make a disclaimer this is a cover effects like trial size bottle container um but this has the laura mercier powder inside because i ran out of my cover effects my mom had like a laura mercier powder so i put some of that one in here so i just want to get that out of the way um the cover effects one is good but you know this one's just a bit better in my opinion I always struggle with finding powders that um, don't give me flashback. Even if you look online and um, it says that, yeah, they don't give flashback. Sometimes I still get it. I never understood if it's just like my concealer or my powder, but it definitely gives me flashback certain powders. So it's good that I have this one now, at least for me to wear at nighttime. I should have my Cody Airspun. I do wear that one during the daytime, but I've been really digging this one. So I've, of course, been wearing this one lately. So I did show you guys a close-up of my brows. As you guys can see, it's not like cut anything. There's still some brow hairs over here, but I like to have my brows look very natural all the time. I forgot to prime my eyes. I'm just gonna use the concealer that I used under my eyes and I'm going to Blend that in with my fingers. 
Now, I'm gonna take my bronzer. I'm gonna take this one right here. This is the e.l.f. contour palette. And I like to use that as my transition shade. I don't um, do anything crazy with my eyes. I just like to define it a little bit, add some dimension and color to it. By the way, this is a MAC brush. It's very nice and tapered. The actual number is not there anymore because this was my mom's brush and I took it. That woman used to be in love with MAC. She has so many single shadows, brushes, like blushes um, and it's crazy so I definitely took this one from her because it's amazing now that I have my transition shade I like to put this bling bling eye stick from Etude House this is really nice because you can just roll it on your eyes and then just take your finger and uh, just blend it a little bit more and you're like ready to head out the door you have some nice color to your eyes it's nice and shiny and cute so that's all i do to my eyes i do at inner corner but i'm gonna do that at the end because i use my highlighter for that so now let's just move on to mascara i have been loving this honest beauty mascara it's really really nice kind of brought me back to the days when i first started wearing makeup and you used to wear those mascaras from the drugstore that had the primer and the mascara i like how this has a primer I haven't tried this without the primer, so I can't really say if the mascara itself is better without the primer, but the primer is really nice. I already see some length as soon as I put the primer on. And then the other side has the actual mascara wand. I kind of like it. It's different. It has a plastic wand. It's very firm and uh, it grabs to your lashes and it also allows it to be like not clumped up together. It spreads them out really nicely. Wow, this mascara could be better than the Lash Paradise. But let me just show you guys a close-up of how my mascara looks on my eyes. I think it's really nice. Now we can finally move on to the face. I am going to use the same contour palette from e.l.f. that I used on my transition today. I'm going to be taking the same shade because I feel like this is one of the best like natural contour shades that are is around especially for the price so i'm just going to quickly contour my forehead is way darker than my face so i don't tend to put any on that i just put some on here and on my jawline and i call it a day by the way the brush that i used was the morphe m530 i'm going to be using this really old nars blush as you guys can see, I already hit pan, but it's a really nice peachy shade that's nice for every day. This one is in Gina. Tap off the excess and bring it all the way back. For highlight, I've been really liking the Opal highlight. It's one of the best highlighters that I have in my opinion. It just looks like I'm glowing, not like there's any chunky highlighters or sparkle or glitter on me. It's just very natural. I also put some under my brow bone. Then I take the small BH Cosmetics tapered brush and that's when I go ahead and put that on my inner corner. Put some on my nose. And on the bridge. For the final step, I'm gonna be using this Makeup Forever mini lipstick. It is so cute. I'm pretty sure I got this with my points. I'll put the name down below. This is a very sheer everyday lipstick and it's like your lips but better. As you guys can see, it makes your lips look so plump and juicy. I love this lipstick. I feel like I definitely gotta get the full version of this one once I figure out what the name is. But definitely very cute. I like the travel size really good to take in your bag for school if you want to touch up 